welcome to my crazy life and Christmas in July. I'm Lori and today we're going to make an advent calendar DIY Dollar Tree style. Um, this advent calendar can be as fancy as you like, as plain as you like. Um, I'm just going to give you my technique if you will and you can make it your own. So let's go over the materials and then I'll show you what I did. Um, I picked up two packages of these from the Dollar Tree and these are just condiment cups. They come in a 12 pack, so I'm doing 24 days. If you want, if you, if you have three, four, five, ten kids, make them for 12 days. They don't have to be 24. I'm doing that. This is probably going to be for the cats or my niece's dog or something um, because I have a different advent calendar for her this year, which I'll show you closer to Christmas. But I'm doing a 24 day advent calendar. My choice. You can choose however you want. Um, in the wedding section, I think they have larger cups than these. These, I think, are two fluid, two fluid ounces. I think they're three or four fluid ounces, the ones in the wedding section, but I believe they only come 10 to a pack. Um, the other thing you can use, and I don't have one here, are the hard plastic condiment cups that are like washable. They come in a 10 pack. You could, my hat's falling off. You could totally use those as well, and it would be more of a reuse it every year, where this one is just going to be kind of disposable. So, two packs of that. I had a piece of cardstock that was a Christmas book that has numbers, so I cut them out. And um, yeah, so, or you could do sticker numbers, you could use a Sharpie. You don't have to number them. I'm numbering them, but that's me. Now, um, some cardstock is handy. I cut circles with my Cricut and I cut two different sizes um, to, just to make it fancy. Uh, but I know Target at Christmas time sells circle stickers with the numbers because I've used them before. You could do that. You could cut squares. You could, if you have a paper punch, you can use that or you can freehand it. I just happened to have my Cricut out and I made my circles. I have some red and some green of the cardstock and then white. You are going to need some type of adhesive. You could use these dots. I did a couple of the covers with the dots from the Dollar Tree. They also sell these roller tapes, which you can use those, or your hot glue gun. I'm using a variety of all the things. You'll need some extra glue sticks, um, ribbon, twine, rope, something to hang it. Now I am decorating with washi tape. I have a lot of washi, especially holiday washi. You can decorate with wrapping paper, you can paint, you can have the kids paint it and then you put it together, stickers, anything you like. The reason I'm not using paper as the backer is I'm afraid when I glue these cups on and I put something in it like candy or whatnot, it will rip the paper away. So if you're using wrapping paper, I would just say adhere it really well to your backing product. I'm using foam core board, you could use cardstock, cardboard, anything you want that's pretty sturdy. These are a dollar. Um, they also sell cardboard boxes you could use. Uh, but I figured you can even get two out of this. You're going to need some type of a ruler. I just used my quilter's ruler and some scissors. Uh, straight edge helps with cutting that, but you can use scissors and washi and glue. And I think that was everything so far. You never know what we'll run into when we start. Um, but yeah, that's the materials that I have so far. I'm going to, I'm putting this away. Don't look yet. I'm going to flip my camera around. I'm going to show you how I set up the lids to all the cups. Um, because I'm going to do it in a, like a red, green, red, green, red, green pattern. And then I'm going to go in and put the numbers on randomly because Sarah's going to work for her dog's treats, but you could do it in order too. But these are, you know, random and I have my glue gun heated up and I just want to show you how I put this together because it's so easy and so fun. You could also do a hundred thousand different things. Um, one item that they sell at the Dollar Tree, I think I have it right here. Let me see. Don't move. I do. Okay, I'm back. They have these little bags in the wedding section and they pop out like a, like a shopping bag, but they're tiny. You could literally fill 24 of these, 12 of these, 10 of these, two of these, whatever, 
and fill them with decorate the outside and fill them with candy and just have them sitting out each night for them to open. I mean, advent calendars are so fun and they just build up so much excitement for the holidays. And at 48, clearly I'm excited, so I can imagine that your kids will be excited too. Or your daughters, granddaughters, parents. Um, the sweetest thing, so the same idea. I made one for my niece a couple years ago. This is what I'm doing for you today. And that Christmas was my mom's last Christmas. We knew, we knew it would be her last Christmas. It was the Christmas of 2016. So Sarah, God love her, took the same tech, same idea. She created an advent calendar for my mom, but instead of putting candy in it because she really couldn't have it, she put memories that the two of them shared together. And every night I would open one for my mom and we would go over the memory that she had with my niece. And um, it just made her so happy. So it doesn't have to be food or candy or toys. It could be memories. It could be activities. You could put an activity in one every night and let them open it up and see what activity you're going to do with them. Watch a movie, make some popcorn, decorate, color. I mean, you know, you can do whatever it is that makes it fun for your family. Um, like I said, this is probably going to be filled with cat treats or dog treats. Some animal is going to enjoy this advent calendar. And here's an animal's tail right now because it can't be a video without one of their tails in it. That was Wellington. All right, let me clean up, turn you around, and we will get started. Because we're already six minutes in. I'm super chatty today. All right, hold on. Now, we're going to do step one, which is attaching the white circles to these clear lids. I left two, I've done the rest. I'm gonna choose to use some hot glue. Um, the other ones I used all the different tapes just to make sure everything was gonna set. But we're gonna use hot glue. And I will show you twice what I'm gonna do. So I take the circle, I'm serious. That's gonna mess beside me. I'm putting a dot of the hot glue in the center and it doesn't even have to be hot, you know, big. I'm centering this, eyeballing it. It's not fancy you know and if the kids want to help do this it would be super fun for little people maybe if you had more than one kid they could make them for each other and then you would fill them obviously as a surprise um, so I'm just putting a dollop of hot glue in the middle and you want to push it pretty good um, I find that the hot glue actually will work the best but use what you have on hand wet glue will even work too then I'm going to turn these over. I tried to glue it this way, but when you push on it, you're just going to break the lids. So I found that turning the lids upside down, putting the glue in the center here, and then I just, I can see through this lid, and I'm going to push it down. It's a little warm, but it's certainly not burning me. And now you can see that it's attached. And if you want a little more glue, you can certainly go around, but that really is enough glue. There we go. And if it's a little messy, it's a little messy. And if you're working with the kids doing this, you know, maybe you'll use the glue dots instead of this. And the glue dots work just as well. And the double tree, the double tree, the Dollar Tree has all kinds of double-sided tapes you can use as well. Like foam mounting ones. So let me show you what this is going to look like when we put it on the board. And this is going to be, so these will be glued down. You could also use a glue stick. I don't know how well it would hold this cardstock. All right, so we don't need our lids right this second. So we have two red lids. And so we actually have 12 red lids and 12 green. So that was step one. Here are my letter or letters, my numbers that I cut out. I'll glue those on. This is the last thing that's gonna happen is the numbers after I lay up my board. So step one is getting everything ready. Step two is I cut out my foam core board. This is just from the Dollar Tree. It's called Ready Board. I cut it to fit. This is what's left over. And I was contemplating, you know, how I want to decorate this. You could use ribbon. If you wanted, you can, like I said, you could paint it. The kids could paint it. Um, and you know, any which way you want to go. I chose to decorate with washi tape. I have a lot of Christmas washi tape. 
and I decided that that would be how I'm going to go. If you don't have Christmas washi, you could just use regular old plain washi. It doesn't matter what you use. It's the intent. And let me just show you real quick how I did it, and then I'll show you the board. Literally, this is it. It's washi. It's like tape. It sticks down really well on this foam core board, and it rips. So I decided to do stripes. You could do squares, you could do stickers, you could do whatever you want. Sharpie markers, the, the sky's the limit. Letters, like I said, I just like the washi. I have plenty to use. So this is how my board looks right now. Look at all the washi. I've got one more that's gonna need to go on. And I'm choosing this that says ho, ho, ho. I did red, green, and black. That's my theme. I'll give you a better look here in a second because then we're going to cover it up. Um, so I just lay my washi over. I line it up where I want it to go and I push it down. And washi is pretty cheap, just so you know. But they're all different. They, and I kind of repeated going up. They're not necessarily 100% straight and that is okay. So I have my board decorated with all my washi tapes. Now the next step that we need to do is lay out our cups. And I'm not measuring. I'm going to tell you right now. I'm eyeballing. That's how I roll with this project because I want it to be easy. I don't want you to have to think about it. You could do any shape you wanted. And I almost did a Christmas tree shape. And then I decided against it. But you have enough poster board to do that. I know these are hard to see. But honestly, right this second, I laid them out in rows of four. The first row you start with will line up everything moving forward. So, I, like I said, I'm just kind of giving it the good old eyeball where I want it to go. And then it's as much as hot gluing your cups down done I mean that's it you're and you want to make sure you have enough space in between for your lids to go on and for whoever needs to open them up to have room to open them you know to get their hand in there so they're not ripping them off the board which that's a way to get them off too if that's what they want to do it's their advent calendar once you're done if they want to rip it off now if you can't find these I saw another one where you'd use tissue paper and like solo cups. It's a lot bigger, but you could get bigger prizes in there too. Also, if you wanted to put a larger prize in a couple of these, like gift card or something, you could just put a note that says $5 Starbucks gift card, see mom, see Aunt Lori, see whoever, you know, see Santa. If you want to put something larger. Now, I'm going to put some Christmas music on, and I'm going to glue all these down. go through sit back down I'm gonna go through and put the numbers on here and I'm literally just kind of putting them on here I don't want the same number next to each other so I'm really just kind of laying them out like this because whoever's doing this needs to find the right number but all my good num my little numbers oh. i'm just kind of silly like this don't mind We have 
have all the numbers on. How easy was that? Ooh. I may have to go back and put some dots on here. My hot glue is not wanting to stick to some of these. But if they start popping off, which I don't know why that one did, but we'll see. Anywho, got my numbers on there. Everybody's happy. Now, the one thing I did, and I should have attached it first, is I just took some coordinating Christmas ribbon, winter ribbon. I tied a bow. I hot glued the bow because I want it to stay. And I'm just going to attach it to the back of this and hang it up. And I will show you what this finished product looks like. I'm going to let the glue kind of dry for a minute. And then we will show you the finished product. So easy, so fun. Give me a minute. And we have it completed. I just have the bow up top. I glued it across the back. I left the ribbon curling just because I like the contrast. I mean, that took what, less than an hour? And it's so exciting. So I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I did. And happy Christmas in July. Ho, ho, ho.